This Podcast Wednesday continues with a second episode. That's right, there's two episodes this week. Why? Because I need to schedule it that way. And during this episode, we talk about a second expo. That's right, it's Expo Week here on the Ski Rex Media Podcast. How we doing, everybody? Tim from Ski Rex Media with the second new episode for the day. As I said in a little intro before the theme music, I have two episodes for you today involving expos. That's right. So the first episode I put out today was with Stephen Morgan from the Snowbound Expo. We talked all about the Snowbound Expo, and it's going to be awesome. Now, I ride the Indy Pass every year. You know this. I love the Indy Pass. You know that. Um... Doug Fish, love that guy too. Great. So, I wanted to get him back on the program to talk about all the new stuff that has come along for the Indy Pass. And we actually make short work of it. We we do a good job on this. Have you noticed yet? I know we're only four episodes in, but have you noticed that I've been keeping them under an hour? An hour or less. That's my goal. Actually, I think the first one went over an hour, but not much if it even did. I'm trying to keep them under an hour. trying to think of your time. So, I decided... To bring Doug Fish on, we talk about Indy Pass, which I figured we'd get through quick because there is a lot of new things, but the only reason that would take forever is if we just listed all of the new resorts and ski areas that Indy Pass has to offer, and we don't do that. We talk about Indy Pass, though. Then, I found out, and we talk about, I said that wrong, then we talk about the Snowvana 2023 exposition out there in the PNW, which Doug is a very big part of, which I only found out he was a big part of uh, within the last couple of months um, accidentally. And we talk about that during the episode as well. I had a lot of fun with this one, as I always do with Doug Fish. And I think you'll have a lot of fun with this one, too. But before we get into it with Mr. Doug Fish, let's talk about a few things first. Let's talk about Whaleback Mountain. Whaleback Mountain in Enfield, New Hampshire, right off of Exit 16, which is right off of I-89. The ski resort sits on the interstate practically. No mountain in America is easily as accessible. I don't know if that's 100% accurate, but let me tell you something. If you've never been to Whaleback and you go, you will notice it is practically on the interstate. You could spit from the interstate and hit the parking lot, but don't do it because you don't want to get that on someone's cars. Whaleback Mountain is awesome. It's a small package, but it gets everything you could ever want. If you want groomed runs, you get groomed runs. You want steeps, you get steeps. You want natural, you get natural. You want trees, you get trees. They'll teach you how to do it. They'll rent you the equipment to do it. They're open till 8 o'clock at night during the week, so you get night skiing under brand new LED lights on many trails. It's awesome. Plus, this year, right now, the outlook is Brand new surface lift that'll get you on the mountain and up the mountain even quicker and more ways to duck around and get to the trails that you want to get to. And to tie it into this week's episodes, talking to Doug Fish, Whaleback Mountain has moved up from an Indy Allied to a full Indy Pass partner resort, which means if you have an Indy Pass, you get two days at Whaleback on the pass, and that's awesome, and I think you should take it. If you're driving by I-89 in the Upper Valley, get off of Exit 16, use one of those Indy Pass days, use both of those Indy Pass days, Whaleback Mountain, ski it to believe it. And to tie it into this episode again, well, not really, but kind of, you see, we'll be talking to Doug about an expo that's going on the first weekend in November over in the Pacific Northwest out there in Portland, Oregon. But for right now, I'm going to talk to you about the Snowbound Expo. This year, as I was last year, I am a partner with the Snowbound Expo, a press partner with the Snowbound Expo, the biggest snow sports expo for families, skiers, and riders, bringing incredible athletes and Olympians to share their stories and all the coolest brands together for you to shop. You'll see free entertainment for the family all weekend, including the Mega Indoor Slope, 
skate to ski with rollerblade. You can try Nordic skiing at the cross country experience. You can get selfies with all kinds of different people. You can pick up all the swag you could ever carry and you can enjoy opera ski there and you can do so much more. The expo is happening from November 3rd through the 5th at the Boston Exposition and Convention Center. You can get discounted tickets now by using the code Ski Rex Media, all one word, 75% off, and you can join me and a bunch of my media friends and a bunch of athletes and a bunch of Olympians who are also athletes, obviously, and the ambassadors and make new friends. You can do all that in Boston at the Snowbound Expo, November 3rd through 5th. I will see you down there. So as I said in the intro that Doug's not going to hear, but because I'm not going to waste his time with that stuff, but what you just heard, we're talking to Doug Fish today. Doug Fish, longtime friend of the Ski Rex Media podcast and Ski Rex Media. I founder of the Indie Pass, but his position there has changed. And we have a, a dog. We have all kinds of stuff going on today. My friend, Doug Fish, how you doing, brother? I'm doing awesome, Tim. How are you? Excellent, excellent. As excellent <laughs> as I can be. Um, so let's start. Let's see, where did we leave off last year? See, Doug's become a yearly person because I love Indie Pass. Again, we're not. I don't show the video, but I dressed for it. I have my Indie Pass yes, shirt on. You did I love that T-shirt? Oh, so do I. I wear it everywhere. It's it's fantastic. So I'm definitely representing. Um, I even wore it uh, the day I got down to Tennessee. I was at over Gatlinburg. I got there on their last day, and uh, this past season, I was like, "Look, I I have the thing," and they're like, "Oh, okay, who are you?" And I was like, "Whatever, dude. Just give me my ticket." <laughs> uh, yeah. If you've yeah, never you're been, one of the very few people that uh, got down to Gatlinburg on their Indy Pass last year. But uh, I got to tell you, just to start things off, you know, that's going to be a it. collector's item because uh, we're rolling out a new brand in a, in a few weeks. Oh, really? Uh, uh, yeah, that, uh, that'll that be a retro logo event uh, here pretty soon. No kidding. Rebranding. Well, you heard it here, guys. Rebranding. That's cool. What sparked that off? Oh, you know, the, the, the folks that uh, took over the Indy Pass this year just want to, you know, they're investing a lot back into the uh, the pass and, and everything that we do. And that was that was part of their uh, doing. Awesome. Hey, I love it. I love retro stuff, man. Like I said, I'm old school. You know, yeah. I still have T-shirts kicking around from the 90s. So that's uh-huh. me. Indy Pass. Uh-huh. Um, we said over Gatlinburg. If you've never been there, get there. That's a <laughs> wild ride. Holy smokes. That's a whole different experience. Wonderful place. Love that town. Yeah. So yeah. we left off last year with, God, it was, you were well over, Indy Pass was well over 100. Um, no, I can't say well over because I can't remember the exact date we recorded. But you were, Indy Pass was taking over the world, made it into Japan. I do yeah. know we talked about getting into Europe. Would that be a thing? And you said last year, don't know. It's a little different over there. But you made yeah. it. Yeah, you made it. Yeah, we made it yeah. <laughs> so we crossed the pond. You did into Austria, if I'm not mistaken. I have it up here. I don't know yes. why I don't just look. <laughs> Very good. So what are we at now for totals? Again, I don't think we have to go over who, what Doug. Well, all right, let's go over what Doug does now, because Indy Pass is not just yours anymore. <laughs> Correct. All right. Whose is it? Uh, into Benny Systems purchased the Indy Pass earlier this year, and Mm -hmm. they are a technology company. They've been our technology partner since the beginning, and they specialize. uh, They they do one thing in in addition to the Indy Pass, and that is they they provide uh, technology solutions for small to mid-sized ski resorts. Awesome. Yeah. So they're in it. They know they know their stuff. They 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 are deep in it. That's why they, you know, they wanted to align with the Indy Pass in the beginning when we, you know, when we first uh started up and uh they, you know, saw what we were doing and and you know, they're they've got a lot more resources than, than I do, uh both on the technology side, on the uh, you know, human resources side and sure. on the financial side. And awesome. they are whole. They are extremely committed to the Indy Pass and everything that it stands for, and uh, supporting independent ski resorts across North America and around the world. Awesome, which is great. And you know, the buyout seems to be working. Pardon my my slang. 
buyout. I'm not a yeah, marketing well, guy. It was. <laughs> yeah, I say I'm not a. I know retail. That's about my business acumen, if you will. Mm-hmm. Um, so, how does it feel then, man? You started it. You know, Indie Pass came out of nowhere, got mm-hmm. to this level, and now someone else is like, "Hey, we can we take it further, please?" What, how do you feel mm-hmm. about that, man? Because that yeah, no, this- I feel great. Uh, you know, it, it it took a little getting used to. Um, I've you know been on my own most of my career. Sure, uh, very few situations where I've worked for somebody since I was thirty, and sure. uh, but uh, it's great. I, you know. They, they're doing everything that they said they would and more with the brand and, and with the, you know, the, the whole program. And um, I'm glad to, to help out and, and um, you know, help them be successful. And uh, my role is more in the marketing side and, um, you know, resort recruitment and, and, and uh, just as an advisor and obviously my, my uh, uh, work day is, definitely gotten a lot lighter i'm you know <laughs> they're doing 60 to 80 hour weeks uh 52 weeks a year i'm you know working a reasonable amount of time and i like that a lot oh i'm sure my goodness that's I mean, gotta I'm, be like the best i know your your readers can't see the video here but I, i'm no spring chicken and i'm looking forward to skiing <laughs> on tuesdays you know <laughs> hey i'm with you Tuesday's the best day. I've said it yeah. for years, and I'm glad you get to do it. I am glad that you're still part of it, though. Um, when the news broke last year about the sale, I was like, oh, man, got to get to know someone new? Yeah. Damn it. But yeah, well, we don't. eventually you will, but I'll be around for a yeah. while. Excellent. And eventually is fine. You know, or then when Doug finally goes, maybe I'll just close up shop, too. Huh. I'll say that's it. I've had it. I don't we'll, know. We'll go ski on Tuesdays. I love skiing on Tuesdays. So that's the best day of the week. It's funny that you said that. That's awesome. That's awesome you're still here. It's awesome that the pass is going to continue. It's awesome that the pass has grown. We're now at 180 plus, I think. Yes, 180. Did you ever imagine? I did not. I didn't think we could handle this many, and uh, I was wrong. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll be over 200 soon. They're, they're still coming in, and it's you know, we're we're looking at another round of additions here uh, before the end of this season. Okay. Um, and um, yeah, it's 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 exciting. It's it's kind of awesome. It's kind of awesome from a few standpoints. I mean, number one, it's a pass where if you like to travel around and meander around your area, um, you got a lot of options um, yeah. now with these new additions. Whale back, which I'm there anyway all the time. Uh, Dartmouth Skiway, uh, right up the road from there. Awesome. That's right there. Plus all the ones that were here. And Dartmouth uh, also added full. That's a cool yeah. place if you've never gotten there. Anybody um, out in the middle of nowhere. It's wonderful. And so many you could you see. Who knew that there were this many ski resorts in the U.S.? And then you're adding on Canada, Japan, <laughs> Europe. Yeah. It's just like, holy. I didn't even. You know, there's more ski resorts in in Japan than there are in the U.S. and it's the size of California. Totally. You know, I mean, love it. Europe. (laughs) Oh my God, it's it's ridiculous how many ski resorts they have. And over there, it's something like thirty percent of the population skis. Here, it's it's not even three percent. Totally. Yeah, you know, the the world is um, you know a big place, and there's a lot of skiing going on out there, and and we intend to be a part of it. That's awesome. I, I think it's great. I think what you're doing is great. I like that you threw out that 3% statistic because I've had to make that argument. Like, it's not popular in the United States. We love it. So it's a lot of fun that way. It's awesome. Yeah, well, you know, half the country can't access a ski resort very easily. So there's, a, there's reasons for that, you know. Absolutely. Now, this 180 total, for anyone who was wondering, is also the cross country offerings. There's more mm-hmm. of those, mm-hmm. which is awesome. Yeah. I didn't get to abuse that part of the past last year, but I'm trying. Mm-hmm. And then there's the indie allies that are still kicking around. Now, did mm-hmm. some of those get added to the news, or are these mostly the ones that were there before? Because I can't remember. Yeah, we we upgraded three of the indie allies to full partners. You mentioned Dartmouth and Whale Back. We also totally. upgraded Snowstar in Illinois. Cool. Uh, we added a couple. Um, 
Mont, uh, Mont Ripley in Michigan and uh, one other I can't think of. But yeah, we've got 44 Nordic resorts, cross country resorts on the pass now. We're very excited about that. Last year we, you know, we, we tried it with 20 and uh, mm -hmm. we saw a great response, uh, mainly from our Alpine pass holders. Th those are the people that are using it. Mm. And, uh, you know, people don't realize there's 5 million Nordic skiers in the U.S. and, and uh, a, a large chunk of them, almost half, cross over to Alpine. So, yeah. You know, uh, now we have that that offering, and you know, a lot of people, particularly in the, in uh, the Northeast, you know, if if they wake up and Saturday morning it's sunny and there's two inches of fresh powder, you know, it's going to be crowded no matter where you go. It, that's totally. just how it is, right? And even yeah. at an indie resort, mm -hmm. and <laughs> um, you know, they can go, uh, you know, jump on their cross country skis, and and you know, not going to be any lift lines there. Mm -mm. <laughs> that's what a lot of people are doing. And, uh, a lot of, a lot of times too, you know, you have a, a couple or a family, um, and you've got a, a, you know, mixed, uh, situation with Alpine and cross country, um, uh, participants. And it, it gives that family an opportunity to do both. So, it does. um, you know, we're, we're very uh, excited about the Nordic market. It's, it's, um, uh, it's one that nobody else is uh, addressing. No other uh, multi mountain pass is is uh, is you know paying any attention to the Nordic market, and and uh, we're, we we think they're awesome. We love it. Yeah, it, it is very awesome. Um, you went uh, <laughs> saying that there's a lot of Alpine crossover. When I talked to Reese Brown from the Cross Country Ski Area Association last year, um, he was saying the same thing. He was like, "This is what you know." As since it was starting last year. He said that's, that's going to be the big advantage is that if just like you said, yeah. you wake up, you go to the park a lot like that, yeah, too crowded. I'm going to go hit cross country for a little while. Yeah. And that it's it's just an awesome thing to do. And again, where I live in the upper valley of Vermont, New Hampshire, Indy Pass is where it's at. So especially with the Nordic offerings, because I'm spitting distance from Nordic and Alpine offerings oh, yeah. now. Yeah. And, you know, there's plenty of places you can Nordic ski without buying a trail pass. Um, but, you know. It, it, it's kind of nice to go uh, to to ski on a groomed trail and and sure. uh, have amenities and and a lot of people like that. So yeah, and it's great exercise if you like being out, you know, alpine skiing. Then you like being out Nordic skiing. Oh, totally. It's it's. I haven't done it in a long time. I meant to get back into it last year and failed. Last year got busy, and this year is looking to be more busy for all of us since uh there's rumblings of snow everywhere you read the almanacs and all this other stuff so we're all going to be yeah. busy this year but we'll see what we could get done uh but for those who don't know speaking of the nordic this is one pass everyone like you don't have to buy the indie nordic you don't have to buy an indie alpine it's one it's all on your one pass that's still true right yeah. okay yes that's correct you if you want you can buy just a nordic pass and only ski at the uh the nordic resorts but it's only 69 bucks <clears throat> and you get two days at, at 44 different Nordic resorts. So, um, but yeah, your Alpine pass gets you access to Nordic as well. So much going on, man. You got so many places to go. Um, we see, again, you said the new owners are technology based. I think I saw that we're getting, uh, uh, Pass holders are going to have a pass this time. That's new. Yes. Like yes, an actual they car. And they're going to they're gonna love it. They look awesome. They're awesome. beautiful. Now, and, the, and the, I, I think the uh, eventual goal is to be straight from the parking lot to the lift. Not everybody has that technology in place. I know that. But no, that's the goal, we've got I would too many assume. different, you know, operating systems too many? in place at all of our resorts. Mm. We're a cloud-based uh, program. Uh, but into Benny does, um, you know, like I said, they do e com and, and point of sale systems for small resorts. And uh, many of our resorts are on their system. Cool. And uh, eventually those resorts will be all direct to lift. Awesome. So not everybody, but there will be some. And that's wonderful. Yeah. And, and we're, we're, we're putting things in place that'll make it easier to get your daily lift ticket if they're not direct to lift. Um, sure. Uh, having a physical pass is, is, is a big deal. You know, we've in the past, you've used your driver's license and you go to the ticket yeah. window and, 
having a physical pass is going to speed up that process at the ticket sure. window. And uh, so we're, we're really excited about that. It is very cool. Like I, I, uh, uh, when I saw that, I was like, man, that's, that, that is going to speed it up. Like you just go down, throw down your card and there you are. And it's, it's, it's wonderful. And, because yeah. for those, I mean, everybody who's used it knows you go, they look it up on their machines. Um, it's wonderful. For those who don't know, I got the very first Saskadena 6 ticket, 0001, which was an Indy Pass Redemption. So, mm-hmm. haha, I have another collector's item. Um, yes, I know it was the other place, but under the new name, I have the first ticket. So, there you go on that yeah. night friends so that's cool man all kinds of new stuff new past tons of new mountains and we're not going to ask doug to list them because we'll be here all day and i remember last year i joked i was like if you can walk up to me and recite them all i'll give you something i'm not doing that anymore because i ain't got time for it 180 plus mountains it's wonderful um the buying is different this year though like there's um it hasn't just been out there. You've been it's been in waves, I guess you could say, if that if yeah. that's accurate. It's not really accurate. You could explain it better than I can, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So uh we put the path on sale in the spring, like we have the last three years, and it, it the the response was just overwhelming. We you know, it far exceeded our uh expectations. And you know, in order to make sure we don't become a mini epic pass, um we we pump the brakes and we paused our sales, you know, the last thing we cool. want to do is overrun our, our small resource, particularly in new England. Sure. And so we pumped the brakes and said, Hey, you know, we're going to, we're going to put this on hold for the off season. We're going to go out and see if we can, you know, increase our capacity, find some more resorts, uh, kind of just assess things, talk to our partners. Hmm. And, um, we put a wait list out there that you could join and, and, uh, several thousand people did that. Yep. And um, we uh, we opened it back up this fall based on the, the you know, 54 new resorts that we added and, uh, uh, you know, a couple in the, the New England area there with Dartmouth and, and uh, well back. But, uh, yeah, it's 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 going well. Uh, we just opened it up last week or mm-hmm. this week, actually, for for sales again and sales are, are brisk. Um, you can still get on the wait list if you want to want to get a pass. You won't be able to buy it today because we're kind of we're um, um, metering the sales, so to speak. Uh, sure. We're putting up sections of the wait list, you know, based on the chronological order in which people signed up. Totally. And um, you know, we're only going to let it go for so long. We're going to hit once we hit a number. We're gonna we're gonna turn it off, and and then you'll have to get on the wait list for next year and we'll go back on sale around the 1st of March. Interesting. Interesting. And that's, <laughs> that also feels a little unique. I mean, everybody puts their, their passes on sale at different times uh, with different deals and whatnot, but this way of doing it feels, I don't know. It feels unique to me. It doesn't feel exactly like Epic icon, Col- mountain collective, whatever it is. Yeah. It's that, that's one of the things I love about India is just unique. It's, it's different than everybody and it works. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, we think so. I mean, we're we're trying new things, and and um, you know that's that's the the beauty of private ownership. You know, we don't have to we don't have a board of directors. We don't have a you know ten <laughs> ski resorts that are you know each have an equal vote. You know, we can just kind mm-hmm. of do things and see if they work, and if they they do, we keep them. If they don't, we do, we drop them. That's that's awesome. Uh, I love that. I, I really do. And yes, I am a little flustered because I almost knocked my microphone over everyone. That's Uh-oh. what happens. Okay. Yes. Um, that's what happens when you talk with your hands. Not good. Yeah. Um, so 180 plus minus one um, Black Mountain, New Hampshire will not open this season. We've all heard. I'm sure you all have heard. I'm sure you all knew before us. Um, how does that affect things for you guys? Not at all. I mean, it sucks for them, but just curious. It's terrible. Uh, it's it's very sad that uh, Black Mountain is in the situation they're in, and mm. um, you know they're not unlike a lot of small mom and pops around North America that are struggling to survive. Uh, you know, with the sure uh, all the many challenges that they face between you know climate and uh, competition from the corporate resorts and 
cost of doing business, you know, you can go on and on. Mm. Um, Black Mountain has been a staple in New Hampshire since 1935. Totally. And uh, the Fichera family has done, you know, yeoman's work to keep it open as long as they have. And, um, you know, it's a it's a sad day when they announce that they're going to close. But I can tell you that the Indy Pass is going to do whatever it can to try and um, uh, rectify the situation there. And, you know, we'll see what happens. Fair enough. I was just interested. Um, I haven't seen anybody really bring that part up yet. Like we've all talked about, you know, wow, that really stinks. But as a, you know, a bigger, you know, what's the bigger picture on that? So we were, I was just interested. So for those who are listening, who didn't know about that, who, you know, it's still on the website. People are still updating. This is very recent on this. You know, we're recording on the 13th of October. This only came out the other day. So everybody's still updating. So just so you know, no black New Hampshire this year. Black Maine, yes. Black New Hampshire, no. Um, that's awesome, man. So many resorts. Indy's done so well. I'm looking forward to it again. Um, I use it the past. I hope everybody, uh, I know a lot of my friends and fans and listeners and readers and everybody else uses it. Uh, we all love it because it allows us to go to the places that aren't crowded. And it allows us to go to new places sometimes we've never heard of. Again, you hear that number that, say, last year, there were 400 plus or what I can't remember the exact number reporting to whatever agency ski Hills in the U S 400. But now that once you start with the Indy pass, it's now putting names to those 400. It seems like so many more and it's so awesome. I want to visit them all. Yeah. Well, every yeah. one of them has, has a great experience to share. They do. And you can find some of them in some of the oddest places. Some are big, yeah. some are small, some are yeah. modern, some are not. And that's the, yeah. <clears throat> excuse me, the other beauty of Indy Pass. If you really want to see that beauty of it, at least for around here, go to Whaleback one day. Old school, smaller place, older type vibe. Awesome. Community driven mountain. Yeah. Then the next day, take your Indy Pass over the Waterville. Very modern, much bigger. They have a unique six pack chair there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I was there for opening day. A lot of fun that was. Shout out to them at, at Waterville, too. They're a lot of fun over there, those guys. So you get everything on the Indy Pass. What do you want? You can find it. And it's wonderful. And I, I still brag it up every day. I even try to oversell it. I don't lie about it. So that's awesome, Doug. And I'm glad you're still with it, too, for as long as you can be. That's the plan. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Woo, this cough. I love it. Okay. So Hang while we have man. Doug here, <laughs> while we have Doug here, um, because that is the new information on Indy. You got anything else you want to add that I missed? Lord knows my preps. Thanks. No, I, I think that's, that, that's about it. Those are all the, 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 the big uh, announcements and, you know, what's happening yeah. in the Indy world. Um, you know, I, I just, it's it's the best deal in skiing, and and these totally. these small resorts are the best experience you're going to have, and and um, you know yes they're less crowded, they're uh, more authentic, but they're local businesses, you know, and and yeah. it's it's the it's like you know do you go to Home Depot or do you support your local hardware store, you know totally. Um, it's the same thing. Do you go to do, do you go to Burgerville or do you support your local diner, and mm -hmm. it's it's that mentality. I think that a lot of Americans are, are um, shifting their thinking from, you know, uh, in, towards supporting local business. And that's what most of these small resorts are. They're local businesses run by, Absolutely. by families or individuals who live in the community and uh, they, they, they support the community with, with tourism and, um, and recreation and, you know, we want more people to to recognize that and support these guys. Absolutely. 100% agree. Uh, check out your smaller, independent, local hills. A lot of fun. And again, it's across the board. Like, I don't want anybody to stereotype a hill. Whatever you want, you can find it on the Indy Pass. It's wonderful. It's a lot of fun. That includes the cross-country stuff. It's really awesome. Indy Pass is great. Indy Ski, excuse me, IndySkiPass.com for all the other information, how to get one, how to get on the waiting list, how to get a cool shirt, um, all that stuff. Now, while we have Doug here, 
we're going to talk about something else, something else he's part of, which I just found out about eh, about a month or two ago, quite accidentally. And the fun thing about it is this. We all know, because I've been pushing it, I'm a press partner with the Snowbound Expo coming to Boston November 3rd through 5th. The unofficial kickoff to winter in New England. Great. Um, Expos are a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun. In the Pacific Northwest, there's another exposition going on. Snowvana 2023. Doug is also part of that. Let's talk about that. Two Expos. Massive events on the same weekend. I think that's cool because it's not a competitive thing. It's just everybody's having a party. Yeah, it's it's the kickoff, you know. Um, ours is called Snowvana, and it's Nirvana for skiers and snowboarders. Uh, it's the first weekend in November, Friday through Sunday in Portland, Oregon. And, um, you know, we're we've been doing it for seven years now. Uh, we took a year off for COVID, um, mm-hmm. but uh, it's been a lot of fun, and um, it's you know I'm going to continue with Snowvana. Um, it's uh, kind of a, a passion project for me, and awesome. Um, you know we're uh, we're looking to expand it into uh, other markets next year, and and uh, you know there may be a Snowvana coming to you soon. Who knows? Pro- probably not Boston. <laughs> But, uh, you know, they've got a great event there. And, and uh, but Snowvana, you know, we, we have a lot of gear. Uh, we've got new retailers. Uh, we've got four great retailers from the Portland area that sell new gear. Um, about 50 manufacturers reps come in and support those retailers. So, every, totally. you know, all, all the top brands are there. We have a, a number of other exhibitors, of course. Um, and then um, we have a big ski swap. That's what's different uh, about Snowvana and, and uh, Snowbound. We have a huge ski swap, so you can buy used gear. Totally. And you know, a lot. Of that's it's all. I think it's all about affordability. You know, it, when mm-hmm. skiing becomes too expensive, um, we lose people. And um, you know, skiing should not be a luxury good. And no, absolutely. If it's, uh, selling used equipment, then so be it. Um, and so we do that. We show films. We've got, you know, a lot of great films from TGR and Matchstick and Level One. Mm. Um, we, we sponsor a, uh, 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 film competition for amateur, uh, mm-hmm, uh mm-hmm. filmmakers. Um, and, uh, it's called the Snowvana Amateur Film Competition. And we give away $5,000 cash to the, t- uh, to the best filmmakers. Level one selects those for us, and they're, they 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 judge the competition, and we get entries from all over the world. Mm. But, uh, no, it's it's a lot of fun. We have live music, a lot of beer from Sierra Nevada, a lot of great sponsors like Toyota and Nokian Tires, and um, you know a lot of a lot of speakers. We have a, a speaker stage there. Um, you'll have to come out and join us sometime, Tim and and represent on the west coast totally man Uh, but uh yeah it's it's a it's a great party and and we're looking forward to having a good old time believe me i would love to it it, it stinks that both expos are on the same week it's awesome but for because again it's two parties in these big cities these big coastal cities i'm pretty sure portland's a coastal city right i've never been yeah it's it's in the it's It's on a river but we're yeah we're close to the ocean there you go so these two cool cities that, you know, on about as far onto each coast as you can get, that's not, you know, Seattle and New York. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it, it's, I, I was like, man, I would have loved to do both because that's just awesome. But yeah. it's cool to have both parties going on. There's no need for anybody to change because of me. I would love to think I have that kind of power, but that's the arrogance in me and the narcissism and all that good stuff. It was the film competition. That's I remember now. That's how I found out you were part of it because I was researching that. I was like, "Oh, a film competition." I'm not a great filmmaker, but I'll try. Yeah, and I had missed all the deadlines and everything. I found out, you know, but I was like, "Oh, Doug, cool. I'll ask him about it." So that is great. Um, and again, like he said, the big differences between the expos. There's the experiences and all expositions are expositions. That's what they are. But you have the ski swap, which I think is great. Like that's got to be a huge ski swap too. Like most ski swaps are small. They're in a yeah, small room. And, yeah. and then you got this big one. I was like, dude, that's awesome. You can find all kinds of cool stuff there. You got to be able to, I don't know. 
You yeah, tell no, me. it's true. We we have over forty thousand square feet of of nothing but gear, and mm. you know that's not all the ski swap. You know, uh, probably two thirds of that is dedicated to new gear, and yep. um, um, you know it's. But that's that's still not that's less than half the show. The other half yeah. of the show is some you know really fun cool stuff. We've got I think twenty four no close to thirty resorts coming. Mm. Uh, Indy Pass, of course, is a big sponsor, uh, but totally. also Icon Pass is a big sponsor of ours, and and they'll be there. Um, and uh, you know you can plan your whole winter. You can pick up some equipment. You can you can we got you know, lift ticket deals from, from all of our resorts. It's uh, it's a great way to start the season and kind of figure out wh- what you're going to do for the next four or five months. It is. It's a lot of fun. Like seriously, if you're going to be in that area, get your tickets. Um, the website is snowvana.com. You can find your way to the tickets there. All the, all the um, links will be in the show notes and description as per usual. Mm-hmm. Um, and yours looks equally as busy as the one we're doing over here. I've suggested to everyone, if there's a newsletter, and I think there is a newsletter link, sign up for it so you know what's going on. It's so busy at these things. It's a party. It's easily distracted. I was telling Stephen Morgan over at the Snowbound Expo, I says, dude, I was going through your ambassador list and the media list. I know so many people there. It's a reunion. It's a lot of fun, and you can make new friends. I, I think it's great to see. I, it, it would be awesome to find out that there's more of these expositions. I don't know about them all. And, uh, I, you know, Snowvana is something I've heard of, but, again, I've never been to it. I live, you know, in New England now. I don't yeah, live in Las course. Vegas anymore. We don't draw a lot of people from Massachusetts. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And I'm sure it's yeah. the same way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and I don't travel as much as I used to, but I would like to. So if I could work that out next year, I'm doing that. I want to go to the shows in England. I, I just want to be everywhere. I'm a mess. Snovana.com. Get your tickets. For those that are interested, Icon is the real, um, the Icon Pass is the real uh, 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 bridge between both expositions. They're, they're, they're working with both. Um, so there you go. Everybody's getting along. This isn't about a competitive thing. Like I hope nobody thinks I'm trying to be competitive. I am just really, I think it's just so awesome that two big shows are going on at the same time, on two sides of the country. It, it, the snow party's beginning. And I love that. I yes, love that. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. So you could do that. Uh, again, the other big difference is the films snowbound. We're not doing a lot of film work, more speakers than anything. So mm-hmm. there you go. Check it out. If you like film, I like film. Doug likes film. Doug has a name as a producer on two films, The In Pursuit of Soul, both of them. There's two of them. Um, fantastic films if you haven't seen them. A lot of fun. Um, I swear in the first one, I saw someone I knew. I, don't, I can't remember who it was. I'd have to watch it again. But it's, it's a lot of fun because these are the small indie mountains, man. Anything else you want to go over, man? We dumped a lot of stuff on them today. I like doing that. No, it's it's going to be a great season, and and uh, I can't wait to get back on the snow. Um, you know, it's uh, Mount Hood is is white and nice. uh, again, and and so it, it's the stoke is high here on the west coast. <laughs> We've had some good storms come through in the last uh, the last two weeks, and uh, it's starting to pile up. Well, there you go, everybody. PNW is already looking nice. Buy your plane tickets, I guess. Um, yeah. Not always easy to do. I know it's a pain. I hate air travel. All right, then. IndieSkiPass.com for your Indie Pass information to get on the wait list to get one. There's so many places to go. 180 plus with XC, with Alpine, with just driving by. Get your Indie Pass. Snowvana 2023, PNW, com. Get your tickets there. Links in the description. Doug, thank you again, man. I love it when you come on the program. Don't hang up when I shut down. Stay on the line for a minute. Yeah. And right. uh, But thank you anyway for coming, dude. This is awesome. I love it. Uh, I love it, too. Thanks, Tim. Oh, you're very welcome. Let me shut down, and I'll talk to Doug without you people. And there he goes. Doug Fish 2023, everyone. How did you enjoy that? I hope you liked it. I love talking to Doug because he does so much. And he has cool things that he's doing. The Indie Pass, very cool, I think. Snowvana, very cool, I think. The whole expedi- uh, exposition. I said, well, said expedition. Exposition scene, man. I think that's very cool. Um, Doug does a lot. 
I'm glad that in a way, um, in a way, I'm glad he got to uh, sell the pass off, and now he gets to work less skiing on a Tuesday. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hope you did enjoy it, though. If you did, or even if you didn't, please subscribe on your favorite podcast app or or over at Podbean which is my uh, provider, and you can check out SkiRexMedia.com as well to find the podcast. It's sitting there. It's through Podbean on the front page of the website, but it is still the Ski Rex Media podcast, and again, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you get your Indie Pass, and I hope you're going to either the Snowbound Expo, as I said, by code, 75% off tickets, or you're going to Snowvana. I can't get you a discount there, but the tickets are pretty good priced either way. So you're going to have fun no matter which party you head up to, right? Right. This is Tim from Ski Rex Media, of course. I will see you out there during the winter, whether it's at an Indy Pass Mountain, Whaleback being an Indy Pass Mountain, or many other mountains, which we'll get into later in the season. It's going to be a whole season of me traveling to new places, I think. We'll see. Also, lifty work, so I'll definitely be at Whaleback, right? Right. All right. Enough of this. Ex, uh, this is closing part. The outro, as people call it. I will see you out there during the winter. We'll take some laps later. Yeah.